Welcome to the video on stem cells. These are the outcomes on this page, so you need to be able to work through these different levels from just naming where stem cells are found and knowing what they are, through to how they link to mitosis and into cell differentiation, and then be able to talk about why stem cells can be useful to, for developing medical treatments and to help with organ transplants. Okay. This slide is going to explain what a stem cell is. Okay. At a very early stage of development, we are made of stem cells. These are cells that don't yet have a job in the body. They're not being a skin cell or being a liver cell. They're just being a cell of you or of whoever the person is or the organism is. Now we can find stem cells in different places. In very, very early stage embryos, they are completely made up of stem cells and each one of those could potentially develop into any type of body cell because you haven't started to specialise and differentiate your cells yet. Later on, nearer to birth, it's only the umbilical cord tissue that has stem cells. And then later on into adult life, it's only bone marrow that has stem cells in it. So in you or I, because we're obviously not at the early stage embryo and we're not at the newborn baby stage, it's only going to be bone marrow where you will find those stem cells. Um, in large bones, like your femur, your thigh bone, inside there, and you can see on this picture, which is actually from a cow, um, not from a human, that you can see where the stem cells are in that squashy tissue that's inside the hollowed out bone. When a person first develops and the fertilised egg, which is called a zygote then, um, after fertilisation, divides by mitosis into two cells. Now these are all stem cells. So the zygote is a stem cell, the two cells that are produced are stem cells, they'd be the daughter cells from that first mitosis division. Those two cells would then divide to form four daughter cells by mitosis. And you can see by day three here in the diagram, we've got a cluster of cells. And this is what we're talking about when we're saying an early stage embryo. By day five, you can see that actually it's formed into a hollowed out ball. Now part of that, what we call a blastocyst, but you don't need to know that name, um, part of that is going to form the embryo, and part of it would actually form the placenta, depending on which side of it embeds into the uterus lining. And you can see from the photograph here that this, at a very, very tiny stage, you can look at the scale down there, just how small this is, you can already see that there are the startings of um, a heart and a spinal cord, and you can see parts of nervous tissue developing. Already, some of these cells are no longer stem cells because they've already become specialised cells. They have jobs. They're performing functions inside this very, very early stage embryo. OK, so we need to finally understand why stem cells are so useful and why scientists are so interested in them. Well, first of all, because they can be made to develop into any type of body cell, it would be really useful if, for example, in the future you needed to have a new liver and your only option at the moment is to get a liver transplant from somebody else who is a good tissue match for you. Now, there are problems associated with that because you need to take drugs for the rest of your life to stop your immune system starting to break down that liver because it's it's not you, it's not it doesn't belong to you. Um, so to stop your immune system recognising that liver as being somebody else's and so that it won't break it down, you need to take drugs that are what we call anti-rejection drugs that will help suppress your immune system. That means you're more at risk of getting infections because your immune system can't work properly. So if you could get your stem cells and make your stem cells grow into a new liver and we could make them become liver cells, we could give you a new liver that would be your liver because it would be made with your DNA in your stem cells and you wouldn't have to take any of those anti-rejection drugs. Your body would recognise it as belonging to you and it wouldn't try and attack it and break it down. So that's really, really useful. And if we can do that in the future, that would be a brilliant way of being able to use stem cells. Also, they are interested in stem cells because we think... By studying them, we can find out more about how cells work 
um, at the very early stages. And that means that we can maybe use them to find ways of treating certain disorders that at the moment there isn't a cure for, um, that at the moment lead to death, and maybe by studying these stem cells and finding out more about them and how they work, we might be able to find cures for things that people currently die from. And if you look at the very last slide, that's going to give you a summary of various different things that they think stem cells could be used for in the future. Okay, so here's the very last slide. Um, you can see here all sorts of different potential uses. Um, lots and lots of things to do with how the brain works. Bone marrow transplantation, they do already. Um, that, is, that is the first thing that they started working on. Um, some of these you won't know what they are, that's fine. I mean, for instance, myocardial infarction, over on the right-hand side here, um, is the proper name for a heart attack. Some of the other things you, you will recognise, that you will know of, um, spinal cord injuries, if we can start treating those with stem cells, then we could actually help people who have been paralysed in, say, a car accident, um, and allow them to be able to walk again rather than being confined to a wheelchair. So this is the reason why people are so interested in being able to find ways of using them to come up with ways of treating these various different disorders. And in the future, maybe when you're old enough to have children, there will be ways that we can help people and their families that we can't do currently because of the research that's done on stem cells. Right, OK, if you can make your notes on this and do the quiz that goes with it, um, I'll uh, carry on with it in class.